Hey, what's up everybody? Today we have five more bottles of water. Four of these are 500 milliliters, and this one is 350 milliliters. And this first one is called Voda Collagen Pomegranate Flavored Vitamin C Water. This bottle is the only flavored water to make it to round two. And really, honestly, the only reason this made it to round two is because it was competing against other flavored waters from Voda. So Voda beat Voda in round one. It, the, first, the other two were cucumber and cocoa fruit. This one is pomegranate. And this is water from Poland. Next up is Trader Joe's Mountain Spring Water. It's from Trader Joe's. This beat out Giant Eagle Distilled Water. This was a really weird review. I threw up in it. It's a really embarrassing video. I got kind of like drunk on water doing this review. This was a really weird one. Next up is New Zealand Water. It's 1907. And this is from New Zealand. This beat out Waiakea Volcanic Water. And yeah, this is water from deep down inside the earth. Next up is another another bottle from deep inside the earth. This is Starkey water. This is in a glass bottle. This beat out Whole Foods Italian still mineral water. water. This one is from two miles inside the earth. And finally, we have Dasani bottled water. This beat out Aquafina. Um, yeah, it's beat out Aquafina. <laughs> That's really all I have to say. So we're just going to get straight into it and start tasting them. Because in the first round, I, uh, I already gave you info about it. Voda has a really nice cap. It's like a very high quality plastic. Trader Joe's has the thin one. 107, or 1907 has a big cap. Yeah, all, all five of these are different. This one has a metal cap. It says Starkey on it. It's like metallic. And the Sony has the uh, different colored cap. So these are all, all unique. Let's just get started. <laughs> this doesn't taste like water at all. Um, honestly, if this was competing against almost any other brand of water, this probably wouldn't have made it to round two. This tastes good. This tastes really good uh, as, a, as a fruit drink, but it probably wouldn't have made it to round two because it's not really a water, in my opinion. This actually has 15 calories per serving, and there's three servings in this bottle. Um, so I'm actually going to just right away, I'm going to eliminate Voda. It's, it's a really good brand, a really good bottle. I have no complaints about it, but I'm just eliminating it because it's flavored and I don't think it's, yeah, really water. So let's just finish it up. Yep. This has vitamin C in it. And in the first round, here's an interesting thing. The first, in the first round, I used a glass bottle, but as far as I remember, it tastes exactly the same. And I can't really tell you much else about it because I don't speak Polish. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Here's Trader Joe's. Here, isn't this interesting? Look how much bigger Starkey is compared to Trader Joe's. But uh, they're actually both 500 milliliters. I, I guess the glass is just that much thicker than plastic. Yep. Trader Joe's tastes just like Nestle and Niagara brands. Just like Deer Park and Poland Springs and uh, all those brands. Which I, I drink a lot of, so I'm, I'm used to it. I'm a little biased, but let's move on to this. New Zealand. This is 
good. New Zealand says it has 1% sodium inside of it, which uh, is normally bad. Normally I taste it, but with this brand, I just don't taste it for some reason. I don't taste the sodium. I guess it's still not a good thing, but if you don't taste it, you know, that's, that's what I'm judging on, really. Let's move on to Starkey. Yeah, this is really good water. This is really good. I say it's from a geothermal hot spring in Idaho. It's two miles deep. And New Zealand, this one is BPA free. And this goes down, this goes down 680 feet. This goes down two miles. So these are both from inside the earth. This one goes down a little bit further. Let's move on to Dasani. The other YouTube videos I've seen where they measure the acidity of bottled water, this is always like one of the most acidic bottles that they measure. It's always like a, you know, a bright color for the acidity. Here's, here's, an, here's an interesting thing. I actually got this bottle at McDonald's and it has McDonald's um, logo on it. I don't, I don't really go to McDonald's that much, but I thought maybe they would have an interesting bottle of water. So I just bought, I bought a bottle of water and this is the one they gave me. In round one, I did not use a version from McDonald's. But it says it is purified water and this is specifically made for McDonald's. Like, there's no other restaurant where you see the restaurant's logo on there with a different brand. I'm going to give these two a tie. I'm going to eliminate both of these at the same time. Um, these are, neither of these are really bad, to be honest. I mean, none of the bottles that make it to round two are going to be bad. They're all, they'll have something good about them. But I'm going to eliminate both of these just because there's nothing special about them. It just tastes like standard bottled water with both of these. Sony's out. Trader, Trader Joe's is out. Okay. So it comes down to 1907 and Starkey. This says that the geothermal hot spring is 11,000 years old. And these are both... Um, Alkaline waters. 1907. So yeah, it says it has a pH level of 7.1. I don't really see it right now, but I know this also has a high pH level. Yeah. Good water. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this, is, this, is, this is really close. This is a tough one. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna say the winner is Starkey, though. And in round one, I was rewatching the video, 
And I actually predicted that this would make it to round three. And so it, it is. It is. I was... I predicted right. This made it to round three. Um, they're both inside the Earth. But this one is deeper down. This is a plastic bottle. This is a glass one. This has a slight taste of plastic in it. You know, this... Glass bottles don't really have a taste to them. This has sodium in it. This does not. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, this bottle is BPA-free. This is actually a good quality bottle. It's really thick, you know. It's got a nice design to it, nice grip, but let's eliminate it. Sorry, New Zealand. And congratulations, Ohio. Or Idaho. Idaho. Yeah. Idaho is moving on to round three.